So in this video, we're going to look at how to solve a problem using the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality, or the AMGM inequality. So we're given that A, B, and C are all positive real numbers such that A, B, C equals 1. So the product of these positive real numbers is 1. And we're asked to prove that A over B plus B over C plus C over A is always greater than or equal to the sum of these numbers divided by 3. Now I'm going to try and solve this using the AMGM inequality, or the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality. And in case you aren't familiar with this, I've written it out below. So suppose I've got n different things. These could be numbers or just arbitrary elements. The AMGM inequality says that the arithmetic mean of these things, so this is the arithmetic mean, that's the sum of these elements divided by n, the number of the elements, that's always bigger than or equal to the geometric mean of these things, so that's the product of these things to the nth root. I've got equality in this inequality, if and only if each of these elements is the same. So if every one of these elements were the same thing, I'd have an equal, an equal sign here. Okay, so now let's go back to our problem. I had a over b plus b over c plus c over a. So let's see what happens if we add these fractions together. So let's do that. So what happens when I've got a over b plus b over c plus c over a? Well, let's add these fractions. To start with, I'll add these two. a over b plus b over c is just a times c plus b squared. Remember that we have to cross multiply when we add fractions all divided by b times c, which is bc, plus c over a. And repeating the same process, I've got ac plus b squared times a, which is a squared c, plus ab squared, plus bc times c, which is bc squared, so plus bc squared. And that's all divided by abc. But at the start of my problem, we were given that abc equals 1. So I can omit entirely this denominator. So the sum of these fractions is actually just a squared c plus a b squared plus b c squared. I'm now going to apply the AMGM inequality three times to something that looks like this. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the AMGM inequality on three different sets of elements. So here's the first set. So I've got a squared c plus a squared c plus a b squared. So a squared c is used twice here. You might be wondering why I'm doing this, but hopefully you'll see at the end. Well, obviously, since a, b, and c are all real and positive, none of these terms is actually zero. So I can say that this is greater than or equal to the sum of these things divided by 3. So this is obviously greater than or equal to a, c, a, a squared c, sorry plus a squared c plus a b squared divided by 3. Now this is the arithmetic mean of these things. By the AMG inequality, this is greater than or equal to the product of these things to the nth root. So let's write that. So that's the, the cube root of a squared c times a squared c times a b squared. So what's the product of these things? Well, if we simplify that, well, we've got a squared times a squared times a, and that's a to the 5. We've got b squared on its own, and we've got c times c, which is c squared. Another way of writing this is that this is the cube root of a cubed times a b c or squared. Because when I take out a so factor of a cubed from a to the 5 b squared c squared, I've got a squared b squared c squared left over, which is a b c or squared. But ABC is just 1, and 1 squared is 1. So this is the cube root of A cubed. And the cube root of A cubed is just A. So that's my first inequality. I'm now going to apply this two more times. So if I apply this another two times to different sets of elements, here's what I get. If I apply it to AB squared plus AB squared plus BC squared, say, this is, again, greater than or equal to the sum of these things divided by 3. So the arithmetic mean of these things plus bc squared divided by 3. And if you repeat this process with the AMG mean equality, you'll find that this is greater than or equal to b. 
if I apply this one last time to one yet different set of elements, let's say bc squared plus bc squared, if I use that three times, yep, plus a squared c. And again, that's greater than or equal to bc squared plus bc squared plus a squared c divided by 3, and that's greater than or equal to c, using the AMG inequality. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these three inequalities. And I'm going to start adding from this point. So I'm going to add this thing, a squared c plus a squared c plus a b squared divided by 3, plus this thing, so that's the sum of these things divided by 3, and I'm also going to add that to the sum of these things divided by 3. And you notice that I've used each term three times. So for instance, a squared c appears three times. One, two, three. a b squared appears three times. a b squared, a b squared, a b squared. And lastly, b c squared appears three times. b c squared, b c squared, b c squared. So when I add each of these things, I'm just going to be left with each of these terms because I've got a third of a squared c plus a third of a squared c plus a third of a squared c. Likewise, a third of ab squared plus two thirds of ab squared. So what am I left with? Well, when I add these inequalities, what I'm left with is the following. So I'm left with a squared c plus ab squared plus b squared c. And when I add whatever's on the right-hand side of these inequalities, remember that was just a, b, and c, I'm actually just left with a plus b plus c. Now remember that the left-hand side of this inequality was just the sum of the fractions that I had started with. So that was a over b plus b over c plus c over a. So what I can conclude from this is that a over b plus b over c plus c over a, that's just this expression here, is greater than or equal to a plus b plus c. But a, b, and c are all positive real numbers. None of them are zero. So this is obviously greater than or equal to a plus b plus c divided by 3. And we're done.